Good morning. Good morning. I pray that you are blessed and highly favored in the Lord. Give him honor and give him praise. Just wanted to get up on here right quick. Been up since, um, I don't know, three, four o'clock, something like that. But this is a season. This is a season of preparation. This is a season of elevation. This is a season of demonstration. This is a season, God says, that where you wake up, you're going to wake up. Okay, come on, somebody. I'm talking to the ones that have a relationship with God. You're gonna, God's going to wake you up in the morning, the noon, night. And I'm talking about you don't necessarily have to be asleep. Somebody catch that. He is awakening you in your spirit like never before because the time is short and time is at hand. And God wants people saved. God wants people delivered. God wants people healed. God wants people touched in this hour like never before. The enemy has been just raveling up in this hour like we have never seen. So it is time for the church to wrap up like it has never been seen. I'm talking about by the power of the Holy Ghost, demonstration of the power of the Holy Ghost, Deuteronomy's power in this hour, in the name of Jesus. So I just come to you this morning just thanking God for who he is, thanking God for his spirit upon this earth, thanking God for equipping the saints, thanking God for just provoking us in this hour to be who God have called us to be, ordained us to be, sustained us to be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so. I'm going to go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just come to you, Father God, right now. First of all, God, just thanking you. Thanking you for waking us up. That's the first gift. God, just thank you, God. Thank you that we got our limbs. We have our right mind, Father God. We thank you for everyone, Father God, that you have touched this morning, Father God. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, that you just open our minds, our spirits, our souls, Father God. Let us be reminded of the daily blessings to walk in thankfulness, to walk in forgiveness toward others. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to touch everybody that's on this live and those that will listen. Father God, I ask you to allow your spirit, Father God, to equip them, Father God, and strip them of everything that is not of you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I blow a fresh wind on them this morning, Father God. Those that are weary, those that are worn, those that are torn, those that are tired, those that just don't even understand what is going on in this hour, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare to be so. Oh, Father God, I just thank you, Father God. I say that everybody that's on this live will be touched in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Touch them in their spirit, God. Awaken them. Provoke them, Father God. Heal them. Deliver them, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stir it up, God. Stir it up, God. Stir it up, God. Stir it up, God. Stir up the gift of God like never before. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare to be so, God. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, we pray for our family. We pray for our friends. We pray for our associates. We pray for one another, God. Oh, Father God, we need you in this hour. And you have equipped us to have everything that we need. Just as you, you were with the disciples, just as you was with your people, you are with us, God. Oh, Father God, I pray, Father God, that we continue, Father God, to gird one another, pray for one another, love one another, motivate one another, encourage one another like never before, Father God. Send your anointing, God. Send your peace, Father God. You say, this peace I give unto you, not liking it to the world because the world has no peace. Oh, Father God, I just thank you for strengthening everyone that's on this live. I don't know what you're going through, but you're going through something. God says, be in strengthened. Be strengthened in your mind, your soul, your body, your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. May God revive you so that you may thrive in this hour like never before in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so. Oh, Father God, we, we ask you, Father God, come into our spirits. Come into our lives, Father God. Create a clean us. Purge it with hyssop, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you. We need the anointing of God. Yeah, cars are good. Money is good. Jobs are good. Husbands is good. Wives is good. Y'all get the drift. But the anointing of God, oh, it empowers you to live. It empowers you to thrive. It empowers you to touch others. That's what 
ministry is about. This is ministry, said God. Oh, Father God, I just thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah, God. Move by your spirit, 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 God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare to be so. Oh, Father God, as we go about our day, let us empower one another, Father God. Let us always continuously pray for one another. Oh, Father God, I pray that your people are endowed by your spirit like never before. Oh, Father God, we pray for the sinners out in the world. We pray for those that don't know you, Father God. We pray for the ones that think they know you. You heard what I said. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Continue to open their eyes and their hearts, Father God, unto you like never before. We thank you, God. We give you honor and we give you praise. Oh, Father God, I decree and declare to be so as a prophet of the living God. Oh, in this hour, God, touch us, God. Touch us, create, create a clean heart in us, Father God. Inspect us, check us, and Father God, keep us and protect us. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, I decree and declare to be so. I say this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth its name amen 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 as you go along your day my brother and my sisters be encouraged encourage one another pray always you know i'm, I'm very serious when i say this I, i've gotten more intense i i i know what it is because I, I can feel in my spirit it's not long a lot of people say well we don't know no we don't know when jesus is coming but my question is will you be ready uh, not now don't get ready but will you be ready and, and that is in every area of our lives people are dying without god i'm gonna say that again people are dying without god that should trigger something in your spirit in this hour, the enemy, I see what he's doing. And I almost got pulled in just like some of you. You know, he, he's presenting all these great things and, and all this and all that. And I'm not saying God don't want us blessed. I'm not saying we don't need money. I'm not saying God don't want to bless you with the desires of your heart. But that shouldn't be the first thing. Matthew 6, 33 say, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. That's where we at. That's what we're supposed to be doing in this hour. Ah, hallelujah. And that's why people are hurting because you're trying to replace this with that and it cannot be done said God it cannot be done so God we just thank you God we give you honor we give you praise and I just pray that you have a blessed day be encouraged my brother and my sister trouble don't last always God will answer you and even for those that say well I don't hear God you got to start spending time with God I don't know who is on this line but I feel you pulling on me I don't hear God like you I don't know God like you let me tell you something God God is no respecter of persons but you got to put in that work just like you put in that work for everything else you know when we want something don't we put in that work you get me very well well that's the same thing you have to do with god spend time intentionally with god get up three four five o'clock in the morning god i'm here and let me tell you what prayer is prayer is not just god i want this god i want that god heal this god heal that sometimes just sit in this presence i hear you father i love you father keep me father and, and, and just listening you see it's prayer but it's also listening. God, what is your will? What do you want me to do? Because see, we, we have all these things in our hearts and in our spirits what we want to do. And I'm not saying God didn't put them there. But remember what he said. I come first. I come first. My will come first. My assignment. Come on, somebody. Our mandate. That's what comes first. And that's why we're not seeing the great revival. Because to be honest with you, the enemy got everybody running after their own desires. And I'm again, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But Every good thing is not a God thing. I'm going to say that again. Every good thing is not a God thing. So be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. God bless you. And y'all know what time it is. Roll like soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.